Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Matt. About Bangladesh, you know, the situation in Bangladesh every moment changing. Uh, let me ask you about the recent decision by the Information Department of Bangladesh to revoke uh, the press accreditation of 20 journalists, including a uh, very senior journalist, Iqbal Subhan Choudhury, uh, Shaban Mahmud, Mujammal Haq Babu, Shakil Ahmed, and Shamal Dattu. These actions appear to undermine press freedom and the rights of journalists to operate without government interference. What step will you take to address this violation of press rights? I don't have any specific uh, comment on uh, those reported charges, but we support the uh, free press in Bangladesh as we do around the world. Thank you. And uh, one of the largest political party, the Jatiya Party of Bangladesh, a central office was vandalized yesterday and set fire on uh, by the anti-discrimination student organization supported by the interim government. Following the situation, the government imposed Section 144, banning Jatiyo Party protest uh, gathering on November 2nd. How does the U.S. State Department view the current efforts by Bangladesh interim governments to uh, marginalize the political parties, including the Jatiyo Party, from the political uh, landscape? In so we are uh, monitoring uh, reports of protests uh, in Bangladesh. We support freedom of belief and freedom of expression, peaceful assembly and association as essential elements of any democracy and the welfare of all persons uh, in Bangladesh and, as I said, around the world. And thank you. One Finally, more. what uh, your assessment of the sedition charges filled against 19 Hindu leaders, including ISKCON uh, leader Chinmay Prabhu in Bangladesh, and does it view uh, this charge as impacting religious freedom or minority rights in Bangladesh? We are aware of the charges, and we encourage a fair and transparent legal process for all individuals. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.